I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest way to get officers in Warpath as well as additional resources and materials. For a free to play player guys it can be kind of hard to get officer statues as well as gold and many other materials. So let's jump straight into this video so I'm going to show you how to get gold in the most efficient and fastest way possible. So guys we're going to kind of go back to basics but as well as more advanced stuff on how to unlock gold the quickest way possible as a free to play player. Now I kind of noticed a lot of people have been asking me how I've kind of got so many officers in such a short place with being a very low spender and almost free to play player. So guys in regards to the officers we're going to be showing you how to get officers in the most efficient way possible as well as being able to hold and save up as many new tokens as possible so that when a new officer comes out you have the tokens available to either all fully awoken or maybe even grab those additional skills that you want. So what we're going to be talking about here guys is actually going to be the fastest way to get gold. Now the reason for wanting gold is because of an event that comes out every two weeks called the Wheel of Fortune. Now, what the Wheel of Fortune does is it enables you to get a lot of officer statues. It can vary between just 50 statues all the way up to like over 150 statues. Now, although this can be a bit of a gamble on how many you get, it is also going to be a very efficient way to get it as it's every two weeks. Now, you must be wondering how I'm getting so much gold to spend on this. So I'm going to be very transparent with you guys. I'm a very low spender. And uh, basically what I pay for each month here is the daily arms deal. Now what this is, it's $8.99 for a whole month. And it basically gives you 1,200 gold. It gives you some other stuff here that you can get. I know that this is a very popular option. I like to go with resources because I'm always trying to spend resources and upgrading my walls and research. So with this bundle, guys, as I said, it costs $8.99 a month. And you're able to get 1,200 gold a day. That equates to about 37,200 gold in a month because it runs for 31 days. This is an additional 37,000 gold that I can use towards the lucky wheel. Now, even without that additional 37,000 gold, you must still be thinking there's still quite a bit of gold to be able to spend on the lucky wheel because it's around 120,000 to 128,000 gold that you need to be able to complete the lucky wheel. So that is where the battle honors comes in. Now, each an alternative week, there is the battle honors and there's the daily arms race. These work coincide with each other. So on one week, you'll have battle honors. The following week, you'll have daily arms race. Then the following week, you'll have battle honors again and so on and so on. It still amazes me, guys, how there's some people that still don't understand the full extent of how the battle honors works. So as we can see here on the right hand side, it shows us exactly what day things happen on. So on day one, it's all about resource collection. This will be when you send your resource collectors out to go to the mines, the farms and all of these other things to be able to collect the resources. Now, these do take a couple of hours to collect, but in general, guys, it will not take you too long and you will be able to max this out as long as you log in two to three times a day to be able to collect your resources and resend your trucks back out on tuesday as you can see here day two because this runs from monday to sunday i do apologize if i didn't state that before so monday is going to be day one resource collection day two is going to be building upgrades now building upgrades guides can consist of anything from upgrading your barracks to upgrading your hangers even upgrading your walls or if you really want to upgrade your like treasuries, your crude oil and your steelworks. Anything you do with upgrading counts towards this. Day three is going to be the scientific breakthrough. Now, this is tech research. Your tech research can be found here, as most people will know, in the research center. And you have a variety to choose from. Now, if you're a new player, you're going to be working on industry research and city honors. Now, guys, this is the most important thing in this video. So few people that I've spoke to recently who have actually been playing the game for a while still don't know about the city honors. Now, once you complete city honors and upgrade this here, you increase your daily arms race, the grand showdown and the battle honor rewards by 200%, which means you get double the amount. So that being said, guys, when I come back here and I'm going to show you now the battle honors, so the daily ranking for today, as you can see, I haven't yet completed this because I wanted to show you on the video, but you receive on battle honors some gold. You get 300 gold, one officer statue, and then obviously you do get some other bits here with it, some res resources, and then you also get here some more, but you get the gold and you get the officer statue on the final one on each section. So there's three sections. There's the first, here is the second, and finally on the third. Now, 
as you can see, you get better rewards in this final one than you do on the previous section. So here you get two, 300 gold, you get one officer statue. In this one, you get 800 gold with one officer statue. Obviously, you do get other stuff, but I'm not going to include that just for now. And then you on the final one, you get 2,500 gold with the gold officer statues. Now, with regards to this, guys, you see how up here I have a times two? I earn times two on everything on here. That also includes for these other rewards here. So that being said, guys, I can double my amount here. So that means... In total, guys, if you get times two the amount, you could be earning 7,400 gold a day. Now, the officer statues, that means you're going to be getting six a day because you get two, four, six. So not only can you get six officer statues a day, but you can also get 7,400 gold a day. And if you times that by seven, that's 51,800 gold and 42 officer statues a week. So every other week you have battle honors and in every other alternative week, you have the daily arms race. Now during a daily arms race, the only difference is you do not receive gold officer statue so you will lose out on the six a day golden statues but you still remain to get the gold so that's a further fifty one thousand eight hundred gold in that week except the gold officer statues now if you manage to complete all of these every single day during the week there is a very 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 high chance that you will be able to get within the top 20 on the rankings and that also means if you finish in the top 20 you're going to still get a further 1,000 gold and 10 officer statues. So in all, guys, you do get a tremendous amount of officer statues as well as gold for just completing these simple events. Going back to the daily themes here, guys, we covered Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Thursday is recruiting drive. So on Thursday, you want to head over to your armory, and this is where you're going to want to open up your universal chests. Furthermore, as well as opening chests, you could also open up your universal five and four star pieces. And then moving forward to Friday, Friday is going to be where you can do more base construction as well as more research. So basically, it's a combination of Tuesday and Wednesdays put together on the Friday. Saturday is rushing. Now, the rushes can be probably the hardest one to complete. Uh, it's not impossible if you do save up your rushes. You There is a good chance you could still get these done. But maybe you might end up losing out on just a little bit of gold and some officer statues on the Saturday because that's probably the hardest one to complete. And then Friday... Finally, on day seven, it's a mixture of everything. And again, I would advise the easiest way to do this, as well as on the Saturday for the rushing, I would say try and do a long research on Friday. And then during Saturday, you could potentially try and rush your researching to be done a little bit. And then what you could do when you've rushed it is save one day on it so that then on the Sunday, you can then complete the research and also take advantage of that following day's event. So not only are you getting some of the rushes done, you're then also getting some of the research done for the following day which is going to help boost towards getting that gold on the final day and finally just to add to the amount of gold you can be earning every single day this resets every four hours so as you can see here here is a daily time and it is the same every week this will always be the same so you can always come back and check here but every four hours you also can earn an additional 2500 gold 200 gold every four hours depending on what the actual event is so you're going to want to go check check through every single day to see when you can collect extra gold from completing the daily things so as you can see on tuesday you collect dockpiling materials to then use in the construction as well as again at 12 o'clock doing more building materials and then even more construction later on so you can furthermore get an extra 10,000 gold in that day very easily on wednesday you can do some more researching at the you know the correct times which would be at reset and then halfway through the day and then finally on thursday which is my favorite day when opening the universal chests if you open up 80 at a time that's enough to complete one of these now if you want to complete three of these in one day not only do you get a further 7500 gold but three times 80 is the perfect amount to fully get the 5000 gold over on the daily arms race and the battle honors so this is the way to maximize 
maximize your potential when earning gold. And with this is more than enough gold to be able to perfectly buy the officer statues in the Lucky Will event that comes up every two weeks. And you'll even have enough gold left over guys to head on over to your VIP, which is also a very important part of the game. And in your VIP store, you could use that extra bit of gold to maybe grab onto some refined components, even some extra universal and camp coupons, and then anything else that you may want to try and get a hold of. Now, this to me is one of the best ways to level up in Warpath because although the unit you choose to have is important, the most important thing is the officers that go on your units. So as you can see here, I almost have an officer for every single unit I have and the situation I'm going into. As I said in my previous video, I will be changing my loadout soon. So we'll have a more up-to-date video coming on that very soon. But guys, if this did help you, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a like on the video and think about dropping a comment down below if this has helped you in any way, shape or form. If you have any other requests on the best things to do in Warpath, please let me know and I'll be more than happy to help you out and maybe even make a video specifically about that situation. Hope you all have a beautiful new year, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you in the next video.